In September of 2019, within 24 hours, almost 40% of all iPhone users did the exact same thing. They all switched to dark mode. Today, 82% of mobile users prefer dark mode. Now, although this seems like just a visual preference, there's actually a lot more reasons as to why dark mode is preferred by users and by companies. Let's start with what you actually see. As we all know, dark mode changes the aesthetics of the UI. Typically, it's from the traditional light theme UI. However, unlike light mode, dark mode utilizes an interesting concept that designers called visual hierarchy through illumination. On a dark background, content doesn't just sit there, it glows. Text, images, and UI elements naturally draw your attention because they're literally the brightest things on the screen. This creates a sense of an immersive, focused experience that reduces visual distractions, a key but mostly unnoticed factor in why a lot of people prefer the dark aesthetic. The effect is particularly pronounced in creative apps. Photos and videos appear more vibrant and professional against dark backgrounds. That's why almost every major photo and video editing app from Photoshop to Final Cut Pro has embraced dark interfaces. Now, not only does it help with staying focused, but there's also a certain feeling that you get from using a dark mode product. Research consistently links dark interfaces with sophistication, elegance, and technological advancements. Dark backgrounds create associations with premium quality, a bit of mystery, and cutting edge technology. This psychological association is really what made dark mode a powerful branding tool. It's become what designers call a tribal signal, a way for companies to communicate that their product represents next generation technology rather than the traditional enterprise software. Just look at the current wave of AI companies, OpenAI, Anthropic, Perplexity, Cursor, or Eleven Labs. They all default to dark interfaces. This isn't a coincidence, it's a strategic brand positioning. During the 2020 to 2025 AI boom, startups recognized dark themes power to signal innovation and differentiate from traditional SaaS tools. Developer-focused platforms like Vercel, Linear, and GitHub embrace dark themes so thoroughly that developers now create Vercel-inspired themes across other applications. The contrast is quite large. Traditional enterprise software like Salesforce, Oracle, and SAP maintain their light mode UI, reinforcing their old guard image. Meanwhile, every new AI platform launched with dark mode as default, creating what industry observers call a sea of sameness that nonetheless effectively communicates technical sophistication. Now, beyond aesthetics and branding, dark mode also offers a genuine psychological benefit for many users. For people with photophobia, cataracts, and light sensitivity, dark mode provides relief from the brightness of the light theme. But there's another group that benefits quite significantly, neurodivergent individuals. Many of these people are even more sensitive to bright lights and high contrast environments. For them, dark mode isn't just a preference. It can make the difference between using an app comfortably and experiencing complete sensory overload. And then there's the battery life factor. On OLED iPhones, dark mode saves around 39-47% to battery at maximum brightness because OLED pixels generate their own light. When a pixel displays black, it actually is turned off, consuming no power. This is why the battery savings only apply to OLED displays. LCD screens still need backlights even for black pixels. But as more devices adopt OLED technology, this benefit becomes increasingly more relevant. So if dark mode is so popular and beneficial, why doesn't every single app have it? Well, the answer actually reveals the hidden complexity behind what seems like just a simple feature. First, it's not enough to just reverse all the colors. If you do this, the result looks like a negative photograph, nothing close to the dark aesthetics that we're all used to. Companies have brands and reputations on the line and need to think through how everything will fit in a different style guide. Brand colors designed for light backgrounds often create a mess when trying to apply it on a dark surface. If there's any black on black text that becomes invisible due to an error, users will notice immediately. One oversight can make your app unusable and more importantly, unreliable. You're essentially designing the UI all over again. Shadows meant for light apps feel out of place on dark backgrounds, and typography needs adjustment as light text appears bolder, requiring reduced font weight for balance. 
From a developer perspective, implementing dark mode requires your app's theming system to be architected properly. Ideally, you should be able to change a very minimal amount of code to switch your entire app's theme. But many apps weren't built this way. Colors were hard-coded through their code base. If your app wasn't built with a theming system, implementing one in a large project might require many weeks of work, touching almost every file. And because of this amount of work, implementing dark mode means other features might get delayed. For a lot of companies, dark mode is a nice to have update for what seems like a niche group of users, making it hard to justify it over other revenue generating features. The additional aspect to dark mode is that this will need ongoing commitment. Having dark mode available means every new feature needs to be designed to work in both themes. This doesn't just mean doubling design work, but it often reveals inconsistencies in the app and forces more systematic thinking about your design system. QA becomes more complex. Every feature, every update, and every small change needs testing in both light and dark modes. Bug reports double and edge cases multiply. However, despite these challenges, competitive pressure is making dark mode implementation inevitable. It almost feels like every app should have a dark mode version by default. And as weirdly as it sounds, users leave reviews specifically citing missing dark mode support. The number tells the story as well. 92% of developers prefer dark IDEs, 82% of mobile users prefer dark mode, and 35% of email opens occur in dark mode environments. Companies ignoring dark mode compatibility risk poor experiences for over one third of their audience. The huge shift of dark mode being the standard for most apps today does have an interesting journey ahead. With the partnership of OpenAI and Johnny Ive, there seems to be a future where we are in a screenless society. Altman and Ive have hinted at their work of building a piece of technology that is far greater than the iPhone, something that truly knows who you are and the context of your surroundings. If this comes true, what will the future of UI look like? We might be witnessing the final generation of screen-based interfaces. In a world where technology truly knows who you are and your surroundings, the question might not even be light mode or dark mode. It might just be, how does this interface adapt with my exact needs right now in this moment?